Hey, uh, Moira. Hi. Can, you, can you say hi in the camera? No, hi, camera. Say hi. No. What are you going to make? The pizza. You're going to make the pizza. Okay, so we got we got our sauce. The sauce. Yeah, is this your pizza crust? The pizza crust. Is it the size of your face? Look at that. Okay. Coming down. So we're going to put a little bit of the sauce on your pizza. Very good. Can you spread that around? Nice and slow. Okay. Do you need more sauce? Need yeah, more sauce. Okay. One more spoon. Okay. We'll spread that around there. That looks fantastic. All right. Okay. Now, let me see this. The pepperoni. You want pepperonis on there next, or you want cheese next? Let's put in the world. Let's put the cheese on next, okay? Yeah. All right, so for cheese, no, leave your pizza. We have pizza cheese. Pizza cheese. Okay. You want to try some before you put it on there? No, we're just going to put it all on there. Go ahead. Very good. You want any more sauce? Any more cheese? Let's do a little bit more cheese. Just a little bit. Much better. There you go. This is mostly cheese on this pizza. The more Now you want the pepperoni? Don't, cheese. Don't touch it, baby. Don't touch it. We don't want it to fall over. You making faces to Mama's friends? Hi. Can you blow kisses? Mwah. Oh, very nice. Cheese. All right, here's your pepperonis. Yeah. How many pepperonis? Can you count them? Yeah. One to just eat. You want to just eat one? Yeah. Put that one back on your pizza. All right. So you have ten pepperonis on your pizza, and you're gonna eat one. Is your pizza ready to go in the oven? Yeah. You ready? Here, let's show all the friends. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh! It fell over. <laughs> Mama didn't do that very well. Okay. I'll hold it this way. Look at that pizza! Ooh! Okay, so we're gonna put it in the oven and then we'll take it out when it's all ready. Okay? Hey, I'm back. Um, I'm not making my pizza quite yet. Um, I'm making a special pizza for my husband because for whatever reason, I do stuff like that. Um, he likes thin crust. This is like a hunk of cardboard um but he doesn't just like any thin crust so he requested a special um a special pizza stop going in and out of focus i'm back um he pretends like he's fancy so his pizza is a sandwich pizza where i take the two thin crust pizza crusts and um, I make one with a little bit of topping, so a little bit of sauce, a little bit of cheese, um, and the pepperoni. And then I cook it in the oven for a little bit. And then I take it out. And then I put the second crust on top, which is what you just saw me doing. I already made the first layer. And then I make the second layer and finish baking it. Um... So that's what I'm doing for him right now. And then I will come back and work with you guys and show you my pizza. Because this is like her pizza, nothing. This pizza, nothing. My pizza is going to be the bomb.com. So we'll just come back to that. Okay, guys? All right, back again. So I am making my pizza. It's going to be a mushroom fig goat cheese pizza, which is my favorite pizza ever. 
Um, and I'm making it completely from scratch, including my homemade dough. I'm making the two ingredient dough. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, two ingredient dough is the best. It is equal parts self-rising flour. Oh, this is the all-purpose flour. Damn it, I used the wrong flour. Hold on, let me put the right flour in here. That's silly. This is the self-rising flour. Actually, it's okay to use this as long as I add the... Um, you can use all-purpose flour. You just have to add baking powder and salt to it, which I could do, but I don't feel like it. I'm just going to dump that back in there and start over. Got flour on my shirt. Clearly, I am a genius today. So it's equal parts. So I'm going to do one cup and one cup. Um, my one cup measuring cup is dirty. So I'm using my one third measuring cup three times. See how that works? Um, why, why worry about it? All right. So you got your flour, um, again, self rising and then you use plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, again, equal parts. So you can use this dough for anything. You can use this dough to make bagels, biscuits, um, bread, just plain old bread, pretzels, pizza dough, um, bread sticks, any kind of bread-like product you enjoy, you can use two ingredient dough. Um, so if you're making like something like this, a savory thing, you would obviously want to use just plain yogurt, um, the plain non-fat. Um, if you were making, like, you want to make sweet bagels or something like that. Um, I've done that in the past where I added frozen wild berry or frozen berries to it. And that was really good. Um, but you could use, like, vanilla yogurt or strawberry yogurt or something like that. That's fine. Um, all right. So um, you can't see me doing my measurements, but that's okay because you would be freaked out at the fact that nothing in my life is exact. I do not measure exact. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. I'm not going to uh, record and show you guys kneading it because that's a huge mess. And I don't have a place or an ability to do that. Um, but basically, after you mix this up until uh, it's well combined, you're going to knead it for about five or so minutes until it's a nice soft dough. And then you can shape it into however you want. Again, we're going to do a pizza crust. So I will be back again. And then we'll put the pizza together. You will see how amazing it is. And you can drool knowing that I got to eat this and you didn't. All right. So it's almost time to assemble my pizza. Um, I got my dough ready. I shaped it onto the pan. Right now it's in the oven kind of pre-baking for a couple minutes and I've prepped everything else. Um, so I have my figs. Um, I just kind of sliced them. Figs are not in season and the figs that I got, I'm a little concerned about a couple of them. But my thought process is they're going in the oven and then so if there's anything that'll make me sick, it'll get cooked. Um... I have my mushroom slices. I'm lazy, okay? Um, people ask me all the time about recipes for things and how do I find the time. And the answer is I don't. Someone else sliced those mushrooms for me. Um, these onions. Red onions. Somebody else sliced these onions for me. I did not do that. Um... And my goat cheese, I'm going to pop in the microwave um, for about 30 seconds. So let's do that real fast. Um, I got a log of the fig goat cheese, and I want to make sure it's easy, easy, easy to spread. So I pop it in the microwave to kind of liquefy it a little bit. Let me grab a spoon. A yeah, handy dandy child's spoon, actually. A knife might be better. Let me get a knife. Knife. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the crust. 
so my other pot holder is being used so I'm gonna use one of my egg ones and see okay it's not super cooked um some people like to pre-cook their dough until it's almost done other people cook it until it's all the way done I really don't care what level of doneness it is um so I have and this is how much one cup makes so one cup of flour one cup of yogurt and that's that's a perfectly acceptable personal pizza size keep cutting off my face um, my goat cheese a slightly softened little block here um, you can see I can easily do this and that's what I need for the base of my pizza um, you can do this a bunch of different ways um, some people like I say some people let me rephrase it I in the past I have used cream cheese as my base and then kind of just crumbled the goat cheese on top but if we're being honest with each other I really like goat cheese and I really like the way this tastes um, as the base of this pizza so um, as far as like healthiness is concerned this dough actually um, for those of you guys who are concerned about like health related stuff this dough is actually pretty healthy um, as far as like you know you guys know I do Weight Watchers this is a Weight Watchers approved dough um, so if I can eat this and I'm gonna eat this whole pizza tonight if I can eat this whole personal pizza um, then you guys can eat this whole personal pizza um, oh this looks so good I right, throw this in the sink I will have dishes to do later um, next I'm gonna put on my onions so again um, red onions pre-sliced um, you can get them chopped diced however you like your red onions I don't care it's your pizza um, this is my pizza and I like to get the ones that are pre-sliced this way um, and I like onions and I like the flavor of the red onions so I go a little heavy on that a couple more that looks good you guys want to peek I want to peek real fast actually yeah it's not so hot anymore okay so I got my cheese spread on there you can't even see it it's the same color as the dough I got some onions then I have my sliced mini Bellas um, these are actually sliced a little bit thicker than I normally would prefer but again I bought them this way so I can't complain um, if I wanted to be that picky I could have done it myself right I don't care that much I like mushrooms um, all right I throw the mushrooms on then I got my figs and same thing I'm just gonna put them on there wherever they will lay they're sticky so while I should tell you guys too um, for the longest time the thought of eating a pizza like this would have made me sick okay I am a picky eater I always have been a picky eater and so something like this is a very big departure from anything I would have ever eaten before as a child um but this is this pizza is my favorite pizza all right so here's what it looks like before i pop it in the oven is it gonna focus a little bit oh dropped a few things um i'm gonna throw this in the oven and then when it comes out i will show you how i finish it off cut it up and i'm gonna eat it and you guys can drool over it okay so the pizza is almost done i'm getting so impatient um, it's done, but I know the, the dough is going to still be a little bit doughy, so I'm kind of waiting a few more minutes. Uh, so let me tell you about how I top it off. Because uh, I, I just want to eat my pizza. Uh, my hair is doing some stuff. Okay. Hey, you guys like my new shirt? Got my Giordiza shirt on. So anyways, um, I like to top my pizza, this pizza, with a baby spinach spring mix. That stuff. 
I'm just gonna put some on the top there. You can't see me doing the sprinkle motion. Put some on the top. Ooh, look at my new bracelet. Ooh. I don't know if it's backwards for you guys or not, but it says Moira. It's got my baby's name on it. Um. So, anyways, got my new shirt. Got my new bracelet. I'm gonna put this on top. Sweetie Pie, we're gonna paint. Nope, not yet. Time out. After dinner, we're painting, and I made the mistake of putting some of the stuff out, including the paints. That's not a good idea. <laughs> You'd think this was my first time momming. I've done this mom rodeo before. No. Uh, okay, so I put my spring mix on there, and then some balsamic. Um, just a regular balsamic vinaigrette that I drizzle on the top. Um, the important thing for pizza, and this is pizza, lasagna, um, casseroles, anything that you want to cut and have it look nice. Um, I burnt myself a little bit here from my thing, so I have these big red splotches. Um, let it set. So the big thing is going to be um, patience, which I just said I don't have any of. Uh, when the pizza comes out and I put the topping on it, it's usually good to let it sit for like five minutes. I'm not. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm not letting it wait for five minutes um, before you cut it and then eat it. All right, I'm going to call it ready. Uh, the, the crust of the crust is starting to get golden brown and looks nice. Um, so I'll see. Look at that. Mmm. That looks so good. So let me sprinkle my greens on there. Um, again, this is something that even two years ago, I would not have ever done this. Put my good old greens on there, get it all healthy. Turn my oven off. Shake, senora, shake your body right. Okay, balsamic. Um, how you drizzle, this is not a really good drizzling bottle. So I'm a little heavy handed. If you had a better drizzling bottle, you could do a better job than I just did. Um, so let me go ahead and grab the camera, give you guys a nice little shot of it. And then I am gonna go eat and we're gonna watch Pokemon and then paint and then have a bubble bath. We're having a good day here. So here is the finished product. Look at that. Can I just, can I just see in my nasty counter? Look at that. Does that not just look astonishing? So that's my kick-ass pizza. Let me show you, it's, it's done. Um, I have it set over here, my, my husband's less awesome pizza. Look at that. Ugh. Mine totally wins the pizza war. Oh, you wanna see Moira's pizza? Hers is cut, she hasn't been eating it. Um, but there's her pizza with some Cheez-Its. All right, so let's get her to say bye, and then we'll sign off. All right, can you say bye-bye to all the people? Bye-bye, people. Can you blow kisses? All right, hold on. Are you going to go eat some pizza? No. No? Why not? Don't push the button. You want to push the button? Okay, push the button. Bye.